some point, I'm sure everyone has had problems with lag in an online game like Krunker, but have you ever wondered exactly what are the effects of Peeker's advantage? What about high ping or the server tick rate? So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Krunker net code. I'll be doing some experiments and testing so we can put away any biases and actually have some data. The first test is going to explore exactly how Krunker servers work. And then next, uh, I'll be testing Krunker server tick rate. And then after that, we'll look into the effects of ping and we'll round things out uh, by covering Peeker's advantage. Some important things to note before I get in. First, just know the limitations of the testing. Uh, I'm testing just from my perspective. I do have very stable internet, um, so that does help. But obviously, it's not a representative sample of every Krunker player, of course. Also, just consider the challenges that Krunker has for its servers. Um, the player base is really large. It's cross-platform. Um, browser-based, so it's not always easy to have very stable servers for every player. Um, if you play COD Warzone, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, the other thing is that when you introduce one change, let's say that you're trying to uh, fix Peeker's advantage, it might introduce some other unintended consequences that may make the game feel um, laggy and less responsive and less satisfying to play. Another example is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and if you played that game online, um, what it does, at least when I was playing it, is sync up the game's clock with uh, the laggiest player. So um, everybody essentially had the same game on their screen, but if one person lagged, it just slowed the game down for everyone and it really ruined the experience. I did find some really interesting results from the Krunker server testing, so hopefully this will be a good starting place uh, to help identify the most important things related to network performance. So the first thing I did was determine the server connections that Krunker makes when you play a game. And I'm using a lot of the same tools that a YouTube channel called Battle Nonsense is using. It's called Net Limiter, and it lets me see um, active connections from my PC to a server. So compared to other online games, first of all, Krunker does make a pretty good number of connections. Um, there are some primary ones and some ones that uh, don't do as much. But from looking at the data, this is how I believe Krunker's network is set up. There are three servers that are used repeatedly. So I think that these are the key servers that um, connections are made to every time you launch the game. And the first one is operated by Google. For this connection, I think it's probably less likely that it's related to the actual game performance. I think it's related to maybe Google Analytics or the fact that um, if you're playing on client, it maybe has to make some connection through Google Chrome technology. I'm not really sure. The next important connection links to a company called DigitalOcean, and it's based in New York. Um, I believe that this may be the connection to download assets for the game. So things like the map, uh, the server lists, uh, everything like that. At its core, Krunker is a browser-based game, so it may be helpful for them to have um, one central location to download the game's assets. However, I'm not sure if all assets necessarily are downloaded from this server location. Um, I did notice that when I changed servers, I would still see network data um, from this IP address. But eventually the traffic would go away, um, leading me to believe that it's a, a server for assets. Now we also don't know if um, assets are stored on some sort of content delivery network. If you do notice um, that you have worse ping at the very beginning, right when you launch Krunker, you jump into a game, um, maybe it could be because you're downloading assets. And the third one out of all the key servers is the most important and that is the local game server that you're playing on. And in my case, uh, playing in Silicon Valley, it's operated by Cloudflare. I'm not sure about uh, other locations since I did not test them. And it looks like according to Whoas database that the server is located in San Francisco. So it's pretty close to me and maybe that explains why my ping is so low. But I think the bigger reason is the fact that I have a fiber internet connection, but I'll get into ping a bit more later. So in this first test, all I really tried to do is understand what was going on how many connections are established, which ones are the primary connections being used. The next tool I'm using, it's called Wireshark, and it lets us analyze the network data, record it, uh, and look back and see what's going on. Um, so I'm gonna start capturing, I'm just gonna play Krunker for a bit. So you can see here on the screen, um, the results from Wireshark. So first I filtered for the local game server, so IP address starting in 104. And um, you can see here uh, time delta from previous captured frame, uh, 0 0.031 time delta from previous displayed frame. So about 0 0.03 seconds. So 0 0.03 seconds. Um, so that means uh, it happens about 33 times per second and therefore it corresponds to a, a server tick rate of about 33. And this is consistent with um, you know stuff that I've read before about uh, Krunker's tick rate being about 30. So if it's 33, then um, it is better than a lot of 
other online games that are quite popular. But um, competitive FPS games, they definitely tend to use higher server tick rates. This is assuming that I interpreted the data correctly and that there aren't other things that are essentially bottlenecking. Also, it'd be great to know how ping is interacting with server tick rate as well, but I'll have to do some more in-depth testing in the future. Next, I did some testing on ping and the first thing that I did was uh, use command prompt to ping my local server and see what I get. And lately I've been getting a ping of 4 when I'm in the game and um, the results from test show a ping of 2. So even better than um, the ping that's displayed in the game. And um, you can see here that the ping of 2, that is like round trip time um, from my computer to the server. Although this sounds kind of crazy and like super super fast, uh, actually given the speed of light in 0 .002 seconds, it could travel as far as 372 miles. But that is the speed of light in a vacuum. Um, speed of light in copper wire is a lot slower. For fiber connections, it's like 70% of the speed of light, so it's way, way faster uh, than a copper connection. And I used to have DSL, suffered through that. And uh, just about a year ago, uh, right before I started Crunker, got that fiber internet. I did test out ping um, on a wired versus wireless connection. So I played Crunker in the same room as the router. And uh, my desktop uses an ethernet and I got a ping of um, anywhere between 20 and 40. So um, playing on wireless, even if you're really, really close to the router, still adds like 20 uh, milliseconds. Just take it for what it's worth because um, 20, 30 milliseconds, it could be a lot to some people and not so much to others. It's basically like one tick on the server. If you do have low ping and having trouble with ping, um, I do have some recommendations because I did a little bit more play testing on other servers like Miami and New York. But I actually think that the next topic is more important than either ping or server tick rate, and that is the concept of Peeker's Advantage in Crunker. Peeker's Advantage, obviously a hot topic in other online games, and basically what it is is the fact that when you're going around the corner, um, the person that's moving around that corner uh, sees their enemy before their enemy sees them. So I tested it on two computers, same network. Um, by the time you slow it down to 1 8th speed, you can clearly see that the peeker can see the target first. It's okay that peeker's advantage exists, but the question is, how drastic is it? So next I'm gonna measure it. And in the first um, clip I showed you guys, it wasn't the most realistic situation because I was simply like uh, strafing. So next I'm gonna show you a scenario that's more realistic, um, where an enemy is kind of going really fast, picking up speed and flying around a corner. So first I'll play the clip back at um, 1x speed a few times. And uh, definitely a lot harder to notice at this speed. Here's one half speed, so first watch computer 1. Now watch it again, but focus on computer 2. Now let's look at it again at one quarter speed, and um, the problem is a lot more clear. And you can see that uh, computer 2 has a whole lot more time. Okay, one last time at one eighth speed. I think that this is pretty high, 610 milliseconds. Other games also can have like pretty high peakers advantages, but um, the problem is that if you compare the uh, window of opportunity for the shooter versus the reaction time that uh, the enemy gets, the difference is too large. But can you use peakers advantage as a legitimate excuse? Um, not quite, because we don't know the disparity of whether um, the low ping player or the high ping player necessarily has the better peakers advantage. Um, so it's going to be a bit more playstyle based. Um, one of the Valorant developers says that the problem is that um, whenever there's a high ping player, it just makes the uh, Peeker's advantage worse for everyone that's in the game. But obviously that's a different game. And uh, the other thing is that I conducted my test on um, basically the same computer on the same network. So it may be more of a gameplay issue than something that's tied to your hardware in that if you suddenly get faster internet, um, the Peeker's advantage situation may stay the same. My feeling is that um, Crunker is like a really fast paced game and uh, feels really responsive and fluid. So it's updating like hundreds of times per, per second on um, the client's device. And then the server is updating a lot slower than that. So you have this disparity, but this might be a hard problem to fix because you don't want the game to feel less responsive. And um, you never want a situation where um, players are trying to intentionally lag to gain some sort of weird advantage. So this brings me to some general recommendations if um, your internet happens to be unreliable or you're playing on high ping. Um, and the first is really applies to anyone and that's just know what you know about um, Peter's advantage and how it exists in Crunker. 
and use that to your benefit and that means play aggressively. And some of you might already be doing this or maybe you're doing it subconsciously, but I know that um, when I go up against uh, really good players, um, they're constantly moving, constantly peeking around corners, getting that first shot. You know, sometimes uh, a good hunter just goes around a corner, or let's say you're on like Sandstorm, pop around a corner and they kill you before you even have a chance. And this definitely can be frustrating. So although we don't fully understand how ping and the server tick rate and peekers advantage interact with each other, I think that um, the most important thing for the Kronker devs to address is this uh, disparity between the amount of time that the peeker has versus the reaction time of the enemy. The next thing that you can do to help out your ping and just reduce lag overall is um, just be sure you're hooked up to wired ethernet and um, I don't think that people should complain too much about lag unless they've at first tried using ethernet connection. Again, as I mentioned before, even if you're in the same room as a router, um, you still probably get like anywhere between 20 to 40 uh, ping benefit from just having wired ethernet. I do understand it's not always easy to hook up this type of connection in your given situation. Uh, maybe you don't even have an ethernet port on your computer, but you can get a USB adapter as well. And those work uh, just about as well as a built-in ethernet port on a motherboard. Every year, there's just gonna be more and more interference on wireless networks. And lastly, you can tweak the in-game settings. First, I think the most important is lag compensation. And so I played on Miami server, uh, New York, and Frankfurt, and Tokyo, and actually was able to do okay. And it was still very playable thanks to um, lag compensation. So without lag compensation, it's actually really hard uh, because whenever I click on an enemy, basically I miss every time, but then I turn up the lag compensation and then uh, get it to the point where you shoot where you click and it lines up properly. But there's still that delay um, for when the hit registers, but at least you know where to aim and it makes everything just a lot more consistent. And then I would recommend you try um, the auto writing feature to see if it improves performance or not. For me personally, I don't use it, but you might have better luck with it. And just remember that um, if the game is downloading assets and maybe you don't have the best connection, um, you might lag for a bit as the game starts up. So to wrap things up, I hope you guys have a better understanding about um, Krunker's network performance. I know that I certainly learned a lot from doing the tests myself. In terms of ping, I think it's safe to say that low ping does give you an advantage, but um, there are limits to this advantage. But we also don't know how ping interacts with some of the other concepts that I mentioned, like server tick rate and peeker's advantage. I definitely need to do more testing on the effects of um, the server tick rate on other things. Looking forward to trying high tick rate servers in the future. And then lastly, the most important thing in my opinion uh, for Kronker to address is going to be the peeker's advantage which uh, does have pretty big gameplay consequences, which I'm sure are exacerbated if you're playing competitively. And um, the, you know, it's the problem with not giving the opponent a chance to react. But again, as I mentioned before, we wouldn't want to fix that uh, makes the game feel less responsive. And we definitely don't want a situation where there's some sort of incentive uh, for lagginess. Thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of this video. Um, I did mention, by the way, that I uh, had frustrations with YouTube sub count. And thanks to everyone who commented because it really helped to motivate me a lot. To clarify, my fear was that um, YouTube wasn't classifying traffic sources coming from Krunker subscribing as subscribers, so things like the free spin. And I did talk to other YouTubers like Cal and had some trouble as well with sub counts. So it could be standard YouTube protocol and nothing strange out of the ordinary, but I'll keep you guys posted if I find out anything new. In the meantime, please help me out by subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Um, it's a good way to know about upcoming giveaways that I'll be hosting. Um, we will have another one coming soon. Just didn't want to do KR again. It's, uh, I've been doing that a lot lately, but it is hard to ship um, hardware uh, during the COVID-19 crisis. So um, I'll let you guys know. And thanks so much.